All right. When I first, when I first started singing, there was one woman who personified exactly what I wanted to be. She's not here right now, but. <laughs> I got you. Seriously, the first time I saw Rita Trilli, I said, that's what I want. I want to be able to rock out on stage. And I was in awe of her for so long before I met her. And when I met her, she immediately tried to take my shoes off while we were on stage. I mean, literally had my foot up in the air trying to take my boot off. And I knew right then and there I would love her forever and always. Well, let me tell you a little bit about her. She is Canada's most highly acclaimed female roots and blues artist with one Juno to her name and four subsequent nominations. She's also, and you should know this, she's also a documentary filmmaker. Her first award-winning documentary was Music from the Big House, which took place in the Angola prison where she performed with several bands of inmates serving life sentences. She's currently working on her next documentary, Voices from a Concrete Ceiling. This is going to be good, y'all. It was filmed in the Women's Maximum Security Prison in Topeka, Kansas. Ladies and gentlemen, you have no idea how honored I am to say, please welcome my heart, Rita Cirelli. Chop, chop. 